All right, welcome back to another Sledgehammer Tie-Dyes episode. Today we're going to be doing a uh, gravity die. It's going to be a split direction, uh, so it's going to go in two different ways as it flows. Um, so I've got a shirt that's already been uh, soaked in soda ash, spun out, and then flipped inside out. I've given it the uh, center symmetry fold. Uh, if you want to know how to do that, I'll put the link down in the description to that video. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. So I'm thinking I want to do like a V, like a like a vest type thing. Something about like that. Right, that looks good. Okay, so now we're just going to pleat this line up. And we're going to tie it off with some kite string. Okay, so there we have it all tied up. Um, you don't really need to tighten down these areas. I just kind of looped it over just to kind of hold it in place-ish. Uh, but I didn't really cinch anything down because you do want to kind of have it free-flowing. Um, but let's go move it over to our uh, die stand. Okay, so this is a setup that I've got going. It's a couple of these racks kind of zip tied together uh, and kind of form an A-frame here. I covered it in tin foil. Uh, that's just so that any of the, uh, the dye that comes through or the, the ice rather will flow down rather than just dripping straight through. So that's to encourage the tips of these to get more saturation. And then I did tie it down with some kite string just to kind of make sure it goes in the right areas uh yep so this is what we got all right so i got this set up in my little rig here uh added some cardboard around the outside to act as a uh, barrier for the ice and i cut out some chunks on either side just to let the shirt kind of flow through all right, so the colors I'm going to be using are Moonstone and Black Magic. So I'm going to start off by putting the dye right onto the shirt here. So this side, the top half, is going to be the Moonstone. So let's go ahead and get that down. All right, that should be good. And the other side is going to be the black magic. So I'm gonna drop that down. Just cause I don't wanna mess this up, I'm gonna turn it around. So I can get to it. Okay, so I'm trying to avoid putting the die too close to the center because it will, you know, flow into that. And I'm trying to keep each color on its own side. Looks like I might have gotten a little bit of black that'll go that way, but eh, a little bit, who cares? I'm putting a little bit more dye on 
this side than I did the other side, just because there's a lot more fabric on this side. Okay, let's add some ice. Okay, so I'm going to start off using some larger chunks of ice just to put in the bottom to fill that up. Because really we just need the ice on top of this section, but we are going to have to fill the whole thing. Okay, and the rest will be nugget ice. And then of course we gotta add our soda ash. Let that go right through. And there we have it. So we'll let that sit and melt through and come back in about 24 hours. Okay, so it's been over 24 hours since the ice has melted. So let's give it a wash out and see what we got. All right, so this is what we got. Definitely had some speckling going on, but that's okay. Well, let's throw it in the wash and see what comes out. All right, well, here we have it. Uh, this came out really nice. I like the saturation. Had some nice breaks from both the black and the moonstone. Um, Nice shape. I was worried about the point. The point did come through, so that's great. Um, another thing, uh, this shirt is a really good example as to why you always flip your shirts inside out uh, whenever you're doing like either a, an ice dye or a hot water dye or just using the dye as a powder rather than as a liquid. Uh, because if you look on the inside, completely different. There's all these splotches and splatters from where things fell down. And I would be kind of upset if this was the outside of my shirt. So yeah, that's the reason why we flip them inside out. But there we go, there you have it. Uh, if you liked this one, uh, be sure to give it a, a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below if you got an idea that you want me to try and subscribe. All right, but for now, that's Sledgehammer Tie-Dyes, out.